Namari Bookmark, Ngara Yaku Duncan Masco, Ngara University of Melbourne Wool, Bungawa. My name is uh, Duncan Masco, Vice Chancellor of the University of Melbourne. I'm very happy today to return to the country of the Gumach people. I pay my respects to Garoi Yunapingu and the traditions of the Gumach and wider Longyu community and to your Nalapal living and past. I acknowledge the Dilak and its members gathered here for the Garma Festival of Traditional Cultures. And I acknowledge also the richness of the culture here with language at its heart, including the many languages of the Yongu people. And I thank the elders for allowing me to speak their language at the start of this. I also want to acknowledge the indigenous leadership of my own institution, and especially Professor Marcia Langton, who is Yongu family and plays a vital leadership role nationally as an educator and advocate for indigenous communities. And anybody who's heard Marcia on the radio and television over the last uh, couple of days will know what a fantastic <coughs> job she, she does for the whole uh, indigenous uh, community. It really is fantastic to be back here at Gokula, and I particularly want to celebrate with you the great achievements of the past three years. Since 2019, of course, we've had a global pandemic, yet uh, indigenous communities, including communities here in Northeast Arnhem Land, have had great success in managing the health challenges. And this has been a tribute to indigenous health leaders at every level bringing their own knowledge to the challenge along with the world's best practices and applying them in all locations. It is a tribute to outstanding Indigenous leadership, to the importance of listening to Aboriginal wisdom and to the power of putting decision making in the, in the hands of those who know what to do, Indigenous people themselves in their own communities. I also want to congratulate the community here on the recent rocket launch from the Arnhem Space Centre. This is a very exciting project for the future and I congratulate the traditional owners of the land where the Space Centre is constructed for your vital role in this project. Since the last Garma Festival in 2019, which was my first, and I intended to be at every Garma Festival in the meantime, so unfortunately this is only the second since then. But since then, the University of Melbourne has been proud to continue sponsoring the festival, knowing that it would soon return to its rightful place as one of the most important events in the country. It's important for you and for the whole people of Australia. In a sign of that, of course, this morning, at Garma, we heard from the Prime Minister of Australia, uh, along uh, sitting on here, up here with his uh, line of senior ministers, including the uh, new Minister for Indigenous Australians, Linda Burney. They spoke about the long overdue need for constitutional reform to realise a voice, makarata and truth, truth telling, so that Indigenous Australians have their rightful place in the nation as the first peoples, their ancestors having been here for at least 65,000 years. This new approach announced by the Prime Minister is, I think, very welcome and it will give all Australians reason to be proud of this nation. I hope that the Prime Minister finds way, a way through the undoubtedly difficult uh, negotiations that will need to be had and indeed that all of our Indigenous colleagues find a way through to uh, coming to agreement about how best to do this. But do this we must and I think this is, a, as a newcomer to Australia, I have to be careful not to try and to teach my grandmother to suck eggs, but uh, uh, I feel very strongly that this is a moment in history and that we've got to grasp it with all of our hands. Certainly, uh, my colleagues at the University and the University of Melbourne itself will be four square behind all of the efforts that we need to make to get this across the line. We've, we've, we've supported the goal of constitutional recognition at the University of Melbourne for a long time, and here at Garma in 2019, I spoke and quoted the great words, and I think they are great words of the Uluru Statement. And I'm going to repeat them today. How could it be that peoples possessed a land for 60 millennia and this sacred link disappears from world history in merely the last 200 years? With substantive constitutional change and structural reform, this ancient sovereignty can shine through as a fuller expression of Australia's nationhood. So I do speak with the passion of a migrant who has come to love this country when I say that I feel the power of those words and I long to see them come true. The University of Melbourne is strongly committed not only to Indigenous constitutional reform but also to working closely in the spirit of Bala Galil with the Gumach people along with the Dilak which represents all of the other Yongu clans and all Indigenous Australians indeed. And this is why in fact, the university's senior leadership is here in force to be part of Garma. We are strongly committed to our partnership with Yothu Yindi Foundation, and we are very excited to learn from our Yothu Yindi partners during this year's Garma and through the times ahead. Since 2015, 
the university has been formally committed to this very important partnership in which it is a sponsor of the Ghana Festival Key Forum. We take the commitment very seriously, as I say, with our senior leadership immersing themselves through participation in the festival and university staff members working as volunteers to support the festival. I want to also acknowledge the tireless work of my friend and colleague, Mayatili Marika, who is not only a greatly respected member of the Longu speaking community, but has also been a greatly valued member of university staff since 2019. We are now into a second five-year memorandum of understanding with the Yothayundi Foundation. A very exciting and important part of the work under this partnership is uh, to be the support of the development of the Gardamer Institute. The Gardamer Institute plan builds on a lot of other great work in education in this area in primary and secondary learning. Uh, and I was, I was really excited to be back here not that long ago for the opening of the Dupaba Barker School, for example. As the Gama Institute plan proceeds over the next few years, led by the Yothi Yindi Foundation, we can expect to see exciting new prospects develop for tertiary education in Northeast Arnhem Land. The university is fully in support of this great vision. In fact, this vision for education that we share between us is really the most important thing that binds us together people from the south with people from the north, older people and younger people. At the University of Melbourne, we of course care deeply about education. We care about our students who come to us not only from our local area, but from every state of Australia, from indigenous communities and from many countries overseas. As we do our work with all our students, increasingly we learn from the people of this land, the Gumach and Wada Yongu community, and the knowledge you have protected and communicated through thousands of generations in this place. We are learning now to equally honour two different knowledge traditions, the indigenous and non-indigenous, side by side. In this, we continue to be inspired by the Yongu spirit and concept of Bala Lili, to give and to take, listening and understanding, the meeting of fresh water and still salt water, just like the incredible landscape here, where the inland waters combine with the waters of the sea, shaping new formations that give new life and new possibilities to the land and its people. As this partnership continues in the years ahead, we look forward greatly to many exciting new possibilities emerging for all of us. Thank you very much, and yo man mak.